past month, I remembered to get this stuff, which is uh, activated carbon pellets. Yeah, so I just chewed one of those up. It's pretty good, pretty easy to chew up. And uh, put a sock full of that stuff up here in the window jam, and I covered the rest with tape. Covered the jam here with tape. And, uh, even I cover it in the window latch. Good tape and um, just to bring in some air, filter the air that I'm bringing in. Uh, it's just a little bit cold on the back of that sock, and I can't feel any other air coming in anywhere up here right now. So uh, I don't know, it seems like all the air that I that I have coming into the house right now is being filtered through uh, activated carbon. And uh, I don't know how long I should go before I replace that filter? Uh, what you can do with the carbon, though, from what I understand, is you just bake it. Uh, you bake it on like the oven clean temperature. I guess is up to like 450, 500 degrees or something like that. And um, after you bake it, I don't know how long you have to bake it for, but you bake it a while and then the activated carbon is ready to filter again. Um, I, know, I was reading, watching some stuff uh, that was indicating that there's is being positive radiation results in milk and water and um, this water that I stored up some months ago before this uh, before the situation started I started drinking one of these bottles today I'll probably just start filtering the water I'm gonna uh, prep my water filter make sure that the water filter is good and um, uh, I might uh, at some point have to put some of this activated carbon into a water filter. Uh, that's going to involve opening the water filter to take the carbon that's in there out and then replacing it with what is in uh, this bag of activated carbon behind me. And um, you know, I'm going to uh, try to like really limit the amount of food that I take in over like the next couple of years because of uh, you know, how bad the environment's gonna be with all that nuclear spew that just happened from the Fukushima nuclear power plant uh, they are saying that the radiation equivalent is 92,000 nuclear bombs worth of radiation that has been spewed into the ocean by the Fukushima power plant disaster. Uh, I'm pretty sure that when when Chernobyl happened that Chernobyl was over in a matter of days. That it wasn't weeks or even a month that Chernobyl was you know, uh, a spewing nuclear disaster. It was seriously just a, a, a number of days. And then uh, apparently it was sandbagged and then encased in concrete. And then uh, shortly thereafter, the, the wildlife in the area began to flourish again. But, um, you know, this, this disaster is on a whole other scale, uh, like, this disaster makes Chernobyl look like, uh, I don't know, like it, it was a piece of cake. You know, like, uh, I don't know, Chernobyl, Chernobyl is nothing compared to this Fukushima nuclear disaster. Um, it's an attack on the ocean, which the ocean is already under attack by the BP oil spill, Corexit mix that is going global and hasn't been cleaned from the ocean bottom, the Gulf of Mexico bottom, 
uh, and everywhere that it's traveling, that it's being swept up in the ocean current. Um, yeah, so uh, I was thinking that one of the one of the major things that's going to happen because of this situation is that the algae in the ocean is going to be destroyed, and so I got this algae culture and I put some liquid kelp in here and I've been growing algae in this bottle. Uh, I need an algae bin maybe about the size of this for me. Uh, the, si the size of this bin here. My aeroponics garden. Uh, which I need to uh, populate with some more plants than just this one orange plant that I have growing there. It will be an orange tree. But, um, uh, I really need to get another bin and place that bin in the sunlight. Uh, maybe reflector up the, the light some better to really get, um, uh, maybe even put in a light up here to cover this aeroponics garden. But that's probably what uh, would best be done to light cover the aeroponics garden. Yeah, it's definitely on the list of things to do, but um, you know, as far as like having the algae, the chlorella algae, which is edible also, in addition to being uh, the capacity to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen, breathable oxygen. And um, uh, this cat outside. I'm wondering how bad that cat is for the nuclear radiation. He's got some wounds on the back of his head, and I don't know why that's not healing better. It was clean at one point, and then it was very dirty in recent days. So I just put some, uh, I actually ground up some activated carbon. Uh, some of the filter material that I showed you just a while ago. And uh, I ground it up with my magic bullet blender, and then I put it uh, on that, that cat's food that I, I put out the window to him. So, uh, I don't know, that's a capacity to remove toxins from the body, is to consume the activated charcoal. And um, I'm hoping that it might help him heal these wounds, and that if he is being exposed to this radiation, that is presumably falling out still with this active nuclear disaster going on. Uh, the building breached and uh, there'd be water flow with like a burning puddle as it was described. Uh, one of the workers stepped in a burning puddle. Anyhow, uh, I don't know if that's being dropped in the ocean is it is an egregious criminal uh, aggression upon the world population that the nuclear disaster was not sandbagged on a, uh, a time frame which would have prevented that severe meltdown.